similar to our training pyramid, we could understand priorities. And when we start to lose something, we would know what do we focus on first? So everything's going great in the ride and we're having a fabulous time. And then all of a sudden things start to go wrong. What do we fix first? And this is why I developed this guy. Because without our posture being in balance and alignment, doing creating the swing and impulsion is just going to get the wrong thing. Okay, that's just going to get the wrong results. If we're creating swing and impulsion and we don't have independent balance, then as the horse starts to move more, we are going to be hanging more at the horse's mouth or gripping more on the um, with our legs. So when we find that and we can find that in a ride right we start to work on something and we lose that rapport and the horse is you know really moving flamboyantly but now we are leaning off the side of the horse or too far backwards and if we don't bring that focus back to our balance and alignment the rest of the ride is going to go down the hill if Everything in the balance, we want, we've, we've kind of lost our ride and then we get our balance and alignment back. Then we need to go back and reinstall the software. So while we got out of whack and our horse got nervous or confused, the aids that we were using stopped working. That's why those nerves came up. That's why the confusion happened. So we need to go back and simplify and re reinstall the application of the aid. So does my horse wait when I ask him to wait? Does it go forward when I ask him to go forward? Am I manipulating the aid or is the aid clear? So even on our Grand Prix horses, we have to do this. It's very important. And when we get all, everything gets all mixed up, and the horse no longer understanding path passage transitions or gets lost a little bit in the two tempies or whatever, we have we go back to a more simple exercise and we reiterate, we reinstall the software. When I do this, you do that. Good. When I do this, you do that. Good. So this is the, why this pyramid is so useful. The next thing that happens when we get really uptight or we get fearful or a horse gets confused is we start forgetting to follow the movement. So we've gotten ourselves back in alignment. We've reminded the horse about what our aids mean in a very simple way. Now we remind ourselves to, to loosen up, start going with the movement again. We create that connection. We uh, we know that the connection, we're not only talking about the reins, but we create, we, we start working again on that connection, leg, seat, and reins.